My name is Rudolf Witkovic, and I was born in Eastern Slovakia. In 1989, I joined this Czechoslovakia revolution. Ever since then, I was part of the political world. Once Czechoslovakia was set uh, in apart into two countries. I have lived in Prague. Uh, my interests lie in politics and history. And I'm retired. However, I'm still engaged in uh, documentary filmmaking. I lived in socialism when we were occupied by Russia. I don't speak English. I understand Polish uh, very well, but I don't speak that well, for which I do apologize. I am myself a conservatist, and my priority is to be a member of the European Union, be a member of NATO and uh, the Visegrad group. Uh, I want to develop good uh, neighboring relations with the countries that we border with. Czech Republic and Slovak Republic. Over the last 25 uh, years uh, have been brought closer. On political and uh, private basis. However, uh, the media uh, have uh, the tendency of information about the neighboring country, especially when speaking about Poland and Hungary. Polish government, which is not democratic, the government uh, is illegal in its actions, the government that disagrees with the country's constitution, uh, and they focus on the civic platforms as a positive one. The new law and justice government is uh, the government of fascists. And this is what they also say about the Hungary. Orban, the fascist, the Hungarians, the fascist. Regular life of people in Czech and Slovakia, this is not uh, what is present on the news. At Republika Internet Television, I saw uh, the beginning of the speech of uh, Mr. Witold Warszykowski, the Foreign Minister of Poland, when he was speaking about uh, Polish government's new directions of foreign policy. And he said that we have to learn and know more about our neighbors. We should engage in dialogue with our neighbors. And I didn't realize that uh, an independent YouTube information channel was referred to as our neighbors. Nasi Sosedi is the Czech Slovakia name uh, for this. Nasi Sosedi is the Slovakian Avengers name for it. And Hungarian Zoltan, I do apologize. Because Sonshadaik. Son Zoltan may say it properly in Hungarian, so the words are quite similar in the four languages. I want to have this in Polish, Czech, and uh, Slavic. Uh, uh, languages because I don't understand Hungarian that much. So this is the beginning uh, of the channel. In Prague, I was seeking to establish a cooperation. However, I failed uh, with Polish Embassy and Polish Culture Center. I was quite surprised that the leftists uh, from the civic platform that uh, work in these embassies and the culture centers Civic platform left wingers. I'll uh, establish this uh, project together with my wife, and I'm sharing this information with you.
In Poland, there are numerous objective sources of information that I make use of. I am really glad that Polish nation, historically wise, is really tough, as Mr. Dudai said. Theoretically, for 27 years, we have been living in freedom. So, why haven't we uh, restored uh, respect to our heroes? Uh, so this is our great indebtedness. A few words about political situation in our country. Communists were focused on Russians. Uh, we followed Russians in political and social uh, life. So we were focusing left. We followed the Soviet Union. Uh, these uh, who were lovers of Stalin and Lenin, they were against the Green Parties. People are thus against European Union and NATO. What they want to have is a dictator, a leader to put order. Freedom and independence seem to be foreign words for them. But I have one good piece of news. Kisko is the president of Slovakia, and Polish president uh, is Mr. Duda. Kiska and Duda understand each other very well. I may say something new. Uh, President Kiska uh, lived in Poprad. So, because of his origin, he might. Uh, this might be the reason for them to establish such a good report. Uh, people in Czech Republic do not have a candidate for a new president. Zeman uh, is the president who is very much for Russia. Uh, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.